All right, OBS is running in three, two, one. Welcome back to Marching Arts Network. I am the Stress Master. Thank you all for joining me. Really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for all your support. If you're a returning member, we really do appreciate it. We finally broke the 2,000 mark. We're looking to go to 3,000. So please hit that subscribe button if you are watching this video, which 60% of people that watch our videos do not subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. I've also made it a habit of my own when, I, when I'm watching someone else's content and I enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button. Once again, it doesn't hurt. And then I get notified when I get to when, when they have new videos on their channel and I get to watch them right away. So it's a win-win for everybody. So please consider subscribing. We would really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. All right. So thank you for joining me on this series. This is a series I did on a previous channel. I wanted to do a little bit differently. I want to add a little bit more content to it. So this series is the my faves of the 1990s, my favorite shows. I'm going to be picking a show for each year of the 90s that I thought was the best, in my opinion. You guys can have your own opinions, and of course, they're all welcome. But for this show, this is 1990. This was my second year in drum corps. I had just experienced 1989, which we had Phantom Regiment, Santa Clara Vanguard, Blue Devils, Cadets, Cavies, just amazing, amazing shows. And of course, the Freelancers were in 10th place. Um, we had a great show that year, so shout out to my freelancers out there. Um, so fantastic year. I mean, it was a great year. Kansas City. Um, 1990 was in Buffalo, New York. It was an okay stadium. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. The acoustics you're going to hear on the show were really darn good. So it wasn't a bad stadium at all. Um, unfortunately, we didn't make top 12 that year. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that wasn't too exciting. But... It was so interesting. A lot of cool things happened in 1990. So I'm going to go and put this up on the screen here. So I kind of want to give a little bit of like what happened in the year 1990. So a lot of things happened here. So reunification of Germany, the, the unification of Yemen, the Human Genome Project. I had no clue what that is, but you guys, I'm going to put this up, link in the description if you guys want to go back. Hubble Telescope, um, the launch was launched that year. Lots of cool stuff. Soviet Union, um, um, the Baltic states declared independence from the Soviet Union. So the Soviet Union um, left Berlin in 1989. And 1999, 1990s when all the unification started and happening. Um, and I'm going to go down here. The, the most important thing is in 1990, the internet was born. So I remember I was sitting at college. My friend Larry, who... Um, I, I marched with in high school and he marched Blue Devils 89, 90, 92, 3, and all and so on. Um, he, he came to me one day and said, oh my God, you got to see this thing. It's called a web page. I don't remember if it's 90 or 91. That means a long time ago now, 32 years. But a lot of cool things happened in 1990. So you guys can all see that here. So pretty amazing, pretty fantastic. So the reason why I'm bringing this up because 1990 was a very transitional year, even for drum course. We had... We had kind of the things happening in, in 89, 90 shifted. We actually were allowed to have three valves instead of two. And I remember we got our first three valve horns. That were I think there were altos or mel. I think there's mellophones. Um, and we spent an entire day trying to tune those suckers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a good time. But 1990 also introduced a, a, a way different drum core experience. Everybody was doing some way different shows. And the show I picked for this one um, was 1990 Star of Indiana, Belshazzar's Feast. So an amazing show, an amazing brass, just an amazing color guard. Every, everything in this show, I, oh my God, it was so un, unreal, just unreal. So what I wanted to show you is that this these are the only cores that have ever done Belshazzar's feast in drum corps. And you can see there's not a lot. It's just Star. I don't know who Soka Resonance Vanguard is, so shout out to you guys. Cadence. And then of course Star United Mini Core in 2006. So they did part of Belshazzar's Feast there. So not a lot of cores have been I've never even seen anybody do Belshazzar's Feast since then. So this show is so complex, so rich, so full of life, and so full of energy. It's going to be amazing for me to watch it again. Uh, I do have a video. Um, I'm going to put it up in the corner here. I do have a video. I did a tribute to Star, so I do have some of this on here, but I don't watch it from beginning to end. I just kind of do a little snippet. Um, but I wanted to watch this from beginning to end. 
kind of react to it. I haven't seen this in a couple years. Um, so I can't wait to see it with you guys. You guys ready for it? All right, let me pull it up here. And here we go. It was more, it was way impressive live too, by the way. Of course, this is George Zingali drill. Just amazing, just brilliant. Listen how clean that is. I know I think someone else did a split pit, but I can't remember who, but I mean, look at that spacing. It is literally on the 40s on each side. It's a good 20 yards apart. The video doesn't do the colors justice, unfortunately. Very brilliant colors, very bright. First time I saw the show was at a regional. I believe it was a regional, and I watched and I just didn't get it. I'm like, and I remember this part specifically, the many, many, many Tekalu Farson part. I'm like, what is this show? <laughs> this makes no damn sense. Oh my god, this part come up here. The 
is in that crescendo. Gosh, those isolated attacks. Holy crap. And then the antiphonal back and forth, or the stereo back and forth. The spinners. Once again, this video, if it was cleaner, yeah, like visually, you could see better, like those spinners. They use those in 91 as well. It's in stereo. Percussion is so well blended in with the ensemble that they're playing some parts, man. I think they have a very small snare line. I think there's like five snares. I could be wrong, but I, I think it's five. Very small snare line. Sound man. Just the colors. Look how brilliant those colors are. The, the, I think it's reds and purples and blues and golds. Just very royal colors. Yeah, that's only five snares. That's the smallest snare land I've ever seen in DCI. because they wanted more brass. If anybody knows, let me know why. I mean, that's just, I, I've never seen a five-person snare line ever in DCI. Because they have uh, five basses. Is it four quads? Yeah, four quads and five snares. This is the year that really started it for them. They were good in 89 too, and they had a big sound, but my God, the stuff they're doing this year is just insanity. It's all G Bugles, baby. And I think they, didn't, they never even went to three valve. They were only in two valve the entire, the whole existence. Just like the ups and downs, crescendos, decrescendos. Thank you. 
like the birth of 91 here across the cross. They actually end in the cross here. Mm, I love this part. Wow. <laughs> I love that show so damn much. And what's like I said, I first time I saw it, I had no idea what the show I'm like this. It was so over my head. But after I saw it a couple more times, I just saw the brilliance in it. And when I saw it at finals, I just lost my mind. And ever since then, I've been very um, aware, I guess, as I've gotten older and, you know, I started teaching and stuff like that, of like how good they really were. I, I think at the time, it's just kind of like you see them and so you're like, oh, yeah, I expect them to be great. But then when you watch them later, you're like, oh, my gosh, they were so freaking amazing. They're brilliant. Woo! Tell me what you guys saw in the comments below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up their scores because, you know, I really wish I could find the recap. Let me see if I can find the recaps from 1990. I couldn't find recaps. So this just kind of gives us a bare bones recap of like visual and stuff like that. But I wanted to see how they compared. So I'm going to I'm going to start here with um, Phantom Regiment um, and then work our way up to number one. So we can kind of Phantom see. Regiment. <laughs> Also a great show. 95 3, 18 9 in brass, 18 7, 19 5 in visual. That's a really high visual score. In third place with a score of 96.5, 96.5, 96 96 Star of Indiana. Okay, so Phantom had an 18 in brass, 19.5 visual. I can't remember what the pressure score was. 19.6 in brass, 19 more pressure, 19 in visual. Okay. In second so place, in brass. with a score of 96.9, 96.9, mm, the Cavaliers. Eighteen nine, nineteen five in percussion. That's what took them over, and then visual was nineteen three. So, okay, I'm gonna go back and look at the percussion score for Star just to kind of see. Our nineteen ninety world champion with a score of nine seven point seven, ninety seven point seven, the Cadets of Bergen County. So 194 in brass, 196 in percussion, 195 in visual. Presenting the DCI World wow. Championships Traveling Trophy. Okay. So I'm going to go back just a little bit. I want to see what Blue Devil scored in brass because usually they do really well in brass. 192. So Star didn't win brass. I, I kind of figured there was a 19. I thought it was 195, but let's see what um, let's see what Star got. In the I was kind of curious. 19-1. Okay, everything's respectable. Right? That's a great score. Okay, so that that just, I mean, look at the brass score. Nine, or excuse me, let me go back here. 19-6. 19-6. That's a hell of a high brass score. And there there was a video with the the judge's audio, like kind of mixed together. The, this guy did a video. Um, I'll try to put it in the comments, in, in, the, in the description. But it like it like plays the show and you hear all these different judges chiming in and they're just floored. They're just floored at what they're seeing and hearing. So definitely take a listen to that. Cause and it's also on my um my uh Star of Indiana tribute. So you guys go back and watch that. Right. Well, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little trip down memory lane for 1990. 1991 is coming and it's not who you think it is. That's all I'm going to say. It's not who you think it is. It's going to, it may surprise some of you. It may not surprise any of you, 
but 1991 was also a fantastic drum corps year amazing drum corps year and i can't wait to share that with all of you so please subscribe so you get notified when we have cool videos like that and please tell me your favorite show from 1990 in the comments i would really appreciate it and i'm also going to um probably prior to this i'm going to be putting up a poll of your favorite show for 1990 um in conjunction with this video sorry in conjunction with this video so you'll see well what was your favorite 1990 score but you can also put it in the comments below as well but thank you guys so much really do appreciate it please stay safe out there and always remember to march on